This has been the most requested video so far. For each and every one of you, I'm going to talk about the each keyword in Power Query. Words would not do any justice. Let's just go deep dive and take a look at what the hell is each in Power Query. Let's go. When you're trying to understand the each and the underscore, the each is the easy one because it means the same, like every single item in a collection. But what does the underscore mean? The underscore, on the other hand, changes the meaning depending upon the context in which you're using it. Let's just take a look at a practical example. Now, I have a table, three columns right here, and I would like to add a column to this table. For that, I'm going to use a function called table.addColumns. Let's just start with that. So table.addColumn, and I'm going to maybe start to write the name of the column. So let's just say new. The first part of the formula is source. Source happens to be the name of the entire table, which is nothing but the previous step. New happens to be the name of the column that I'm creating. And after that, I'm going to say that I would like to write the each, which means every single item. But what does the item mean right here? I'm going to write the underscore right here and close the bracket. Now, as soon as I happen to use the underscore in the context of the table, it simply means every single item of the table. And the item here is nothing but the row. So this is the first record, the second record, record means row, and the third record, and so on and so forth. Now, as soon as I commit to this particular function, it's actually going to create a new column in here, which is where it will actually capture the record. So if you peek into this record right here, you're going to see that the entire data of the first row has been captured right here. Now, since I happen to use the underscore in the context of the table, the underscore meant that you're trying to catch hold of the record of this particular table. Now, once we have been able to extract the record, which is right here, I could do anything with that record, which is now stored in this little variable right here, which is nothing but the underscore. Let's just say that I'm trying to maybe capture uh, like a column of this particular uh, record right here. So the record has got three columns, date, sales rep, and amount. Maybe I'm just trying to capture the amount right here. So how do I do that? There can be another function, which is nothing but let's say record dot field. And I'm going to say that and the underscore gives me the record. And I'm going to say that my field is nothing but the amount. And I'm going to close the bracket and press enter. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to go inside of that record, which is stored in the variable underscore and just pull up the amount and give you the answer, which is nothing but the amount right here. Now, like I said that the underscore changes the meaning depending upon the context. Let's just take a look at the each and the underscore in the context of a list. Okay, I'm playing with the simple list right here, which has got just five numbers. And I will try to write the each and the underscore in the context of the list. Now, well, let's just create a new step in here. And I will use a list function this time, since I'm working with a list. So there happens to be a function called list dot transform. The first part of the list dot transform function is to provide a list and source was the step just previous, which contained the five numbers. And that's my list. And now let's just happen to write the each keyword. So let's just say each underscore and press enter. Now, the underscore here means every single item of the list, which is not a table. So it doesn't mean a record anymore. Since the context has changed this time, the underscore is going to capture every single item of this list. So the first time it's going to capture one, the second time it's going to capture two, the third time it's going to capture three, so on and so forth. And as soon as I press enter, nothing changes. It's going to give you the same value because you just captured that value and put it right here. You did nothing with that. Let's just say that for every single item of the list, I would want to add a one. So I could probably say something like now that the underscore has captured one, maybe I'd like to add one to that. So I'm going to say something like plus one. And as soon as I do that, you now have counting from two to six. So the point that I was trying to make, which is very, very important is that the each keyword is not very hard to understand. It means every single item, but the underscore part, which refers to the item is going to change the meaning depending upon the context in which it has been used. If you're using it in in the context of a table, it means a record. If you're using this in the context of a list, it means every single item of the list. An item of the list is every single value. I hope you understood that. We're not done yet. The each and the underscore happens to just be a sugar syntax or maybe an easy way of writing functions uh, that make the syntax of Power Query a bit easy to read. Now, let's just take a look at the same query that we had been working with in the past, which is where we had the table and we use the table dot add columns function to add a column and each underscore is the keyword that we wrote. Let's just delete that for just a bit and to start to read that what the formula is asking for. So if I just put in comma here, you can see that the table dot add columns function 
is asking me to give me a column generator as a function that give me a function that could generate a column it's not asking you for the each and underscore here it is asking you for a function and as a simple syntax of creating a function we happened to write the each and underscore now here let's just start to add a function let's just see that is that similar to writing an each and underscore or not so i'm gonna maybe go in here and first start to declare a variable and let's just open the bracket and declare any variable let's just call the variable r you can call it anything but for the moment i'm gonna call this as r as soon as you declare the variable r r is going to hold up every single item of the table and like i said every single item of the table is nothing but the record of the table or the row of the table so r here means the row of the table now how do i convert the r into a function so i'm just going to maybe start to write an equals to sign and a greater than symbol this rocket sign right here means function anything that you write after that happens to be a function and that's what the formula is asking me for so i'm going to say that hey i don't really want to do anything just give me the R back, which is nothing but my record back. I'm going to close in the bracket and press enter. And what do I get? I get the same output like I was able to get with the each and the underscore. And the each and the underscore happens to be an easy way to read Power Query syntax. But this happens to be the same. And we can do something with that R. R happens to hold the record value for every single row and we could do something with it. So let's just say that we would want to again in extract the amount from here let's just extract it in a slightly different way so this time i'm going to say that hey r happens to hold the record the record has got three columns date sales rep and amount and i would want to extract the amount so i'm going to say that hey square bracket and i'm going to say amount and this time as soon as i press enter i'm going to get the amount of that particular value right here awesome now let's just start to create functions in a list and let's just see if it also means the same over there all right, I'm back at my list, which is where uh, just a while ago we had five numbers, one through five, and to every single number we added one using the each and the underscore keyword. Let's just happen to delete the each and the underscore keyword and let's just start to create a function. Let's just quickly verify that as well. So if I just happen to write a comma again, you can see that this is asking you that, hey, please give me the transformation that you'd like to apply as a function. So let's just start to create a function. This time I'm going to maybe declare the function variable as x and i'm gonna maybe start to write the function keyword so which is nothing but the equals to and the greater than sign this converts this into a function what has x done x has captured the value of every single item of the list whatever the underscore was doing it earlier the x is doing it now the only difference is that x is now used in a function so i'm going to say x happens to hold every single value i'm just going to maybe want to have the x again if i do nothing with it with x i'm just going to get the values back one two three four and five but if i happen to let's say add plus one right here i'm going to get let's say a two three four five and six which were just one incremented from one now what you could do is that using a function you could also happen to declare the underscore as a variable so the variable like i said could be anything it could be x y z anything but whatever you happen to write here is going to hold up the value of every single item of that particular structure that you're working with table record list just one single item so this time i'm going to say that hey x underscore plus one which is not going to give you the same output right here so just another way of writing it each an underscore or you could write a function and you now know both of them all right that's been it the each and the underscore in power query let me know how did you find this one and in case you have any questions around this please feel free to drop in a comment and i will be glad to reply obviously i tried to use some very simple examples to demonstrate how the each and the underscore works but if you happen to use a very complicated query and you're maneuvering between the table and a list and other items of power query structures then each and underscore would mean different items of that particular object structure that you're trying to work with i hope you understood that part really really well let me know if you have any questions around this and i'll be glad to reply in the end a big shout about my dax and my power query courses in case you're starting out with power bi please feel free to check out my courses they're going to take you from a beginner level to a more advanced level and help you solve more sophisticated and more advanced problem even of your own data thanks so much for watching this and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers bye